I can't see. The vault just tore out my uh, eyes. Uh, Julian, get a grip. Oh, how could you be so harsh, woman? I've lost my son. Oh, Pookie, the only thing you may have lost is your alcohol-soaked brain. You're wearing a blindfold. What? Why on earth? Well, as soon as you calm down, I'll explain. Oh, thank God. I had the most graphically violent dreams. Oh, What's this? Oh, uh, those are handcuffs. Uh, you see, I, I put the handcuffs and the blindfold on while you were sleeping. What, what is this? Some sort of new love game? <laughs> No, Pookie. The marital aids here are just for good luck. Uh, I'm afraid you've lost me. We are getting married today. Hmm. It is bad luck for a groom to see his bride before the ceremony. So you be a good boy and keep the blindfold on while I'm taking a shower, all right? Oh, and you have to get dressed somewhere else because I'm going to get ready here. Since when did you become such a traditionalist? Since I want this wedding to come off without a hitch. Oh. Oh, stay, stay. I have some wonderful, uh, amusing ideas for the couture <laughs> yeah. Tonight, Pookie, yeah. when I am the second Mrs. Julian Crane. Oh, women positively certifiable. I'll just throw some clothes on, try to... Try to clear my head of all of this nonsense. I think this must must be the closet. Right about here. Are you absolutely certain that you want to go through with this wedding? How can you even ask me that question? What, do I really need to point out to you that things haven't exactly been normal around here lately? For starters, Ivy's still here in the mansion. She's living here, and she's fighting Julian's divorce tooth and nail. Look, little Missy Ironside can fight this divorce with every nut and bolt in her little motorized wheelchair. But I'm going to take her place as Julian's first lady, and I'm going to do it today. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, Gwen, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I know things have been a little strange lately. But what better time to marry Julian than before everything goes bad? I am going to make sure that that man doesn't weasel out of his commitment to me. Haven't you ever heard of knocking? Oh, I don't think I have to announce myself in my own home. <laughs> you know, maybe you have bleached your hair just one time too many. Or maybe your little accident made you dense. But when are you going to realize that you are no longer mistress of the manor? That you hold claim to nothing in this house, and soon it will all be mine. Mother, settle down. No. Not until I'm done. And I should think you would be embarrassed to say someplace where you're not wanted. It's very pathetic. Not to mention futile. I'd listen to your daughter, Rebecca. You don't want to get all riled up and sweaty for your big day. No, I just rolled in here to tell you that I'm still working on that gift for you and Julian. I think it's going to start your life of wedded bliss off with a, oh, with a big bang. <clears throat> what is it? Well, I can't tell you that. It would ruin the surprise. Suffice to say, it's something that will have everyone talking about it for years to come. That'll do. You're dismissed. You know, Mother, you should really be nicer to these people. They came on really short notice. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm just so anxious to become Mrs. Julian Crane. Uh-oh. Where is that makeup guy? Uh, I'm sure he'll be back any minute. You know, I still don't know why you didn't want to get your hair done. Mm, I'm just not in the mood. I... I don't feel very good about today. What with Ivy and that attitude of hers. Yeah. Well, don't let Ivy get to you. She is just trying to ruin my moment in the sun. Well, maybe, but did you see how pleased she seemed to be with herself? It's as if, I don't know, she's anticipating some sort of big trouble at your wedding. Ivy is full of hot air. There's nothing she can do to spoil my day. I have everything under control. Okay, what does that mean?
Mother, you, you promised me you'd never touch a gun again. I lied. Put that thing away. Not a chance. Now, this thing may come in very handy, especially considering who I am marrying. I mean, I may want to marry Julian, but he is such a bastard. Mother! What? Why are you acting so shocked? I have never trust Julian as far as I could throw him, and lately, I trust him even less. Now, something is going on. I just don't know what it is. But by the end of this day, Julian is either going to be my husband or my victim.